Hi, I'm Ulf at Hoberik. Today I'm gonna try and build a real cheap reamp box. If you don't know what a reamp box is, I'm gonna try and explain it real quick. Uh, for example, if you record your electric guitar directly into your audio interface with a cable directly input, uh, you will get a DI signal, direct input signal, into your DAW uh, with no effects and anything on it that you will probably use for amp simulation and stuff like that. The thing is you can take that signal, run it out from your computer into a real guitar amp and mic it up uh, after the fact. Uh, the problem you will run into is uh, ground loops and also impedance mismatch between the signals because the output of your audio interface will be low impedance line signal, which is also really loud, into your guitar amp that will expect a high impedance instrument signal that is supposed to be pretty low. So this is where you need a reamp box. That's a short explanation to why you need one. There are a bunch of uh, commercially av available reamp boxes, uh, usually really, really expensive, at least compared to what we're gonna do today. There's also a lot of really good DIY solutions. For example, DIYRecordingEquipment.com. Uh, they have a really good kit with easy instructions and everything. It's not too expensive either. If you wanna make it easy for yourself, uh, you can check that out. But in this video today, I'm gonna to try to build it even cheaper with some with a really cheap transformer um, and parts that you should be able to find in your local electronics shop. If you want a PDF with build instructions and a list of components, go to the link in the description. Um, just give me your email address and I will give you the PDF for free. The build I'm doing today, I didn't come up with it myself. I actually found it in an old uh, DIY Bible publication by Classic Guitar. So that's what I'm gonna use as a foundation for what we're doing here today. Hopefully it will turn out great. Um, let's see how it goes. Except for the components, uh, you need some basic tools to build. Uh, obviously you need a soldering iron, some solder, pliers, clippers, and a screwdriver. A multimeter is always good to have when you do this kind of stuff, but it's not necessary. And now for the components, there are both few and inexpensive. A 330 picaparad capacitor, a 680 ohm resistor, a 600 to 600 ohm audio transformer, a SPDT switch, a 10 kilo ohm logarithmic potentiometer, a 50 kilo ohm linear potentiometer, a fourth inch mono jack, and an XLR female connector. Uh, the one I have here is the wrong one because I just took stuff I had laying around. So you're gonna have the opposite one that looks like this. You obviously need something to put everything in, so I use one of those regular pedal aluminium boxes. And this one is about 11 times 6 times 3 centimeters. And yes, I almost forgot to tell you that you need two small screws to mount the XLR connector and also some wire to connect everything inside the box. Hopefully you have a drilling machine and some drill bits uh, because you're gonna need to make some holes in the aluminium box. Depending on the potentiometers you buy, you just reference the sizes of those uh, and then you probably need one of those step drills to get the big hole for the XLR connector. Start with mounting the connectors, the potentiometers and the switch. The potentiometers I had laying around have this little peg. Uh, if you have the same, you can just break them off with your pliers. Now let's start connecting things. I started with soldering the 680 ohm resistor to the two outer lugs of the volume knob, which is the 10K potentiometer. After that, I connected the middle lug of the 10K potentiometer to the right lug of the 50K potentiometer. And then also connect the middle lug and the right lug of that same potentiometer. Connect the left lug of the 50K potentiometer to the tip connector of the fourth inch jack. Also connect the left lug of the 50k potentiometer to the middle pin of the switch. Connect the 330 picaparad capacitor to the top pin of the switch to the ground pin of the 4th inch jack. Also connect the ground pin of the 4th inch jack to the left lug of the 10k potentiometer. And last but not least, connect the transformer 
The transformer has six legs, but we're only going to use leg one, three, four, and six, so we can cut off the middle legs on both sides. Leg number one to pin number two of the XLR connector, leg number three to pin number one of the XLR connector, pin number four to the right lug of the 10k potentiometer, and leg number six to the left lug of the 10k potentiometer. This is what it looked like when I was done, uh, kind of messy, and after trying it I noticed that the volume pot and the switch were working in the opposite directions, but I corrected the illustrations, so if you follow the illustrations in this video it should be alright. And here we have it. Um, keep in mind that this is uh, very much a prototype and uh, also that I used components that I had laying around and the transformers really on the cheaper side. I would probably do it with a bit more expensive high-end transformer in the finished version. As you can see, we have an output volume knob. We also have a knob to fine-tune the output ohm of this thing. And also we have a high-cut filter. The high-cut filter I feel is a bit unnecessary since you can do the high-cut already when you send out the signal from your door. If I'm gonna do a more serious version of this, I would probably just take that part out. But for now I keep it in and if you want to download the PDF with instructions how to build this, the high cut will be included, but I will probably do an updated PDF later with the version that I prefer. So, but I will keep you updated on that one. I didn't think I would have time to test it out for this video, but I had a chance to take it for a real fast test spin. So. Um, here is me butchering some uh, classic riffs. As you can hear, it's completely noise-free and beautiful with the reamp box. Um, I will make another video soon where I compare some different uh, transformers in the reamp box and also compare it to some more expensive commercial uh, reamp boxes. Um, until then, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye. Cheers!